If anybody just missed it, Tom Cousins has won 7-4 against Neil Raybone just before this to book his place in the semi-final. He will play the winner of this. Chippy breaks off and makes a ball. Yeah, uh, again, this, this could this could be this could be pretty quick. I mean, Callum's no slouch either, but um, Chippy, as we know, a very quick player. Next up after this, the quarter final, Greg Batten against Sean Story. That will be a a different uh, different style of game. Yeah, I'll be staying on for that one. And then Scott Gillespie, Aaron Davis in the last quarter final rounds it off. Tom Cousins sat waiting in the first semi-final for the winner of this game. Can anyone topple the top cat? Struggled in the first event. He's had a few close games in this event, but he seems to be starting to fire. Callum Singleton, Northern Ireland International. He's just trading around Coventry area. I think he's held from around there, Northampton maybe. He's in around that area anyway. Anywhere in the middle of the United Kingdom is basically what you're saying, Nick, is it? Somewhere down there. <laughs> I think he might be Northampton. Chippy further afield. He's uh, over there in Norwich. Next to Scotland. <laughs> A master at geography you are, Nick. And tip. By the way, who's your tip now? Have you? You've had about seven different tips no. in this one, haven't you? No, I haven't. I've had one tip. Did you? Do you not remember who it was? The blue diamond. Aaron Davis. That's well, who it was, was actually. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you've changed. Be. You've probably changed back. You've probably gone <laughs> off to three different players now. Before back again. Before the event even started, I had a tenner each way on Aaron Davis at 33 to ones. Wow. So if he if he wins the the game against Scott Gillespie, then we'll pick up a couple of quid. So play, pays the top four, I think. Yeah, just nice to have a runner. Not a big bet, just just a just an interest to have a runner in the field. And I thought Aaron played really well in event seven. He's got a tough game, obviously against Scott, Scott Gillespie. Very tough game, but uh, none of them are easy when you get to this stage. Go and tell him you've got money on him. That'll that'll cheer him up a bit, won't it? No, he'll he'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll try and lose if he knows I'm on him. <laughs> there from Callum. Still got those midges about. So it's been quite warm up here. No air con. So yeah, it's been a bit clammy in the arena. A couple of players have mentioned it as we've gone along. We've seen a few sword fights with cues and flies and things over the course of the four days. Callum there covering the bag or covering the red shall I say. Well, there's no point in playing the loss of turn here. <laughs> oh wow, what a shot. Do you know I never 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 thought of that. Sure Chip were playing the loss of turn, but it was so much side he sent a cube behind the red. Very, very clever. Yeah. I missed that one completely. Which is not hard because <laughs> of my lack of safety play. <laughs> That's a really, really good shot there from Sean Chipperfield. He is a clever play. He sees them so quickly. Just enough there for Chippy. He's on the red as well. 
Screws back through the gap perfectly. Just looking to see, um, just looking to see their head to head. But I don't think they've ever played each other. There's no, there's no record of a head to head between them, which would be quite unusual to have never met on Ultimate Pool. I might have to check that out after the match just to see if they have. Because you think that they would have clashed at some point, but there's absolutely no history on their head to head. Wow! Oh goodness me, look at that. How wide is that? Yeah. That's miles away. That, I mean, it, it seemed to bounce off at a strange angle. Didn't seem to catch it bad. That's incredible I mean, miss. It, he's missed it by four or five inches. I mean, it's either a misjudgment or just something. As I say, it just seemed to bounce off at a, a strange angle. He gives Callum a great chance to tidy this up in the first frame and importantly take one against the break as well. Goes the black Callum Singleton now leading one frame to nil against Sean Chipperfield after Chippy missing a double black. Four more titles to be decided, and they will all be decided today. Dry break from Callum, not happy at all. He's looking round the table. <laughs> Just can't believe he didn't get a ball into that top left-hand pocket where all those yellows were congregated. And he's left Sean Chipperfield a nice starter. Rob Dagnall also still going strong in, in Challenger Tier 1 Event 8. Could he do the double this weekend? That would be an incredible achievement. Playing in the last 16, but he was fantastic yesterday. And um, David McNamara, who I did a bit of commentary with last night, he was saying that he thought that Rob Dagnall was the best player around the Northwest at the moment, and he included people like Gareth Hibbert, Simon Fitzsimmons in in that comment. There's a lot of big players around this area. So it's quite a statement, but they play at the same club. Or play at the same team, should I say. Quick fire stuff from Sean Chipperfield. <laughs> Blink of an eye stuff. He levels things up as quickly as that. Good break there from Chipperfield. Fantastic break, in fact. This is the thing with Sean. It, it's he's really quick player. He's probably the quick the quickest player that queues up at the ball. Yeah. That wastes little time. But it's for me. He's not been able to just to string matches together. He'll do it. It's like wallop Jordan Shepard 7-1 and then it just 
The ball, it'll either go dry off the brakes or the things just don't go right. Because if he can string a few together, he's real danger. Just travelled a travelled an inch too far that yellow, and that was always the opening shot. Screw back into the yellow that was on the cushion, but I think he's just pushed it on top of that red, so it probably needs developing again. Wants to start clearing some of the balls at the top of the table. He's going to use the the ball in the middle of the table, you would think, to get down onto the eight. So it's just about the order he takes him. He's got a nice angle now to come down. Well, I think he tried to give the red a nudge, but he got the line wrong. Well, he's going to give it the red a nudge. It will make it even worse. Yeah, but a full ball contact just to push it onto the yellow, I think, would have been all right. But he, I mean, he's missed it. I mean, surely at, at that pace, he can't have been trying. Does it go? I think it creeps in, you know. Oh, maybe it does, you know. Oh, Flies in. Yeah. Fooled again by the camera angles, Nick. I didn't think it went, but there you go. Made to look daft again. It's not the first time. Won't be the last. Oh, Sean. Wipes his feet. Has an angle. Top spin inside, get us off the top rail, maybe and into the side rail and around to leave the last yellow in the middle. Mm, yeah, just worried for a second, yeah, he was just just hesitating yeah. for a second because if that rolls another inch or two, he's in trouble. But it's just, just at the right angle, it was perfect. Well, Sean Chipperfield starting to go through the gears, and he now leads Callum Singleton by two frames to one. Eleven and a half minutes gone off the clock. Three frames already under our belt. Good break from Carl. Bit of traffic in the middle of the table. A couple of balls tied up. Not sure he's got... Well, I was going to say, I'm not sure he's got an opener on reds, but he has. He's got this one down to bottom left if he wants it. So he's got he's got choices. He's got openers on reds or yellows it's just about how he sees the pattern how he sees trying to develop the balls I think I think yellows probably just because there's the yellows are fairly close together and gives him an option to be able to try and develop he wanted to leave an angle on this one at the top to be able to come down and punch out the yellow and the, the red tied up together but he's just finished a bit straight If he can't get into that ball straight away, this suddenly becomes a bit more difficult. So, so much so that he's going to play a little defensive shot. That was all about that angle. If he left the angle there, he would have uh, he would have attacked. Nice little shot though, because. Obviously, he still developed his difficult yellow. Left Sean absolutely nothing to go at. I mean, Sean's a creative player, but pick the bones out of this. That's clever. A little loss of turn. If that yellow goes into the centre, they pass the black ball. If not, he's got the one down into the bottom right-hand corner. Tough shot. Well, both are tough shots. Mm -hmm. If he goes for the one in the bottom right-hand corner, the keyboard can go into the two reds. And he can land on the yellow there that's in the middle of the table. No. Missed the pot. Missed it by a way as well. You see what he's trying to do there. Yeah. But then he has opened the two reds up now for Sean Chipperfield as well. Yeah, and I think it's tight, but I think the red is closest to may just pass. If not, it does double. I think it passes. No. no they're they're going to be the last couple of balls there, yeah. Nick, I think. Yeah. I want to pop this in. Chunk off the bottom rail into that right-hand side rail and get into the, the middle of this cluster of three reds. Just like that, it wants a bit more pace. 
And he can't go in the middle if he doesn't fancy that in the corner first. Ideally, he'd have knocked another ball roll. Yeah, a popcorn and just run into the other red and it holds him on the the outside of the three. He's changed his mind. No, it was that shot. Play the cannon. Leave yourself on the one to right centre. And make sure he leaves himself an angle to get up for the other two balls, and he has done. That's perfect. Yeah, he can go up for the top one. Oh, he could, he could hold for the bottom. Yeah, actually. this is always the ball. Yeah, natural to get onto last, red right into the same pocket. The angle was just a bit too big to hold there. What a shot! Just gets down and bumps it in. Sean Chipperfield, nice pressure finish there, and he now goes into a 3-1 lead against Callum Singleton. The chance to cement herself in the quarters. Leon Cragg 3-1 against Sophie Gibbs Nichols. Becky Watkins leading Anna Cunningham 4-1. Those matches continue. As do we, and as does Sean Chipperfield. More of the same from him. Another. Big, big break. One, two, three. Two reds and a yellow. And he's away on reds. Just stood up there. He's just worried about the first shot. It's the cannon on the yellow. Not guaranteed to be on on a red. In fact, reds don't even look that good, do they? You got the red. Two reds tied up on the bolt line. Yeah, didn't like it. You can understand why that was a messy table. He doesn't need to push the boat out here. He's 3-1 up. Let Callum do the work. He's left the yellow to the top left corner, but yeah, they're a mess, aren't they? Just don't want to attack from here. It's not often you don't see Sean actually go for it if they're there, but... Um, that table was just a stretch too far. At 3-1 down, he might be pushing the boat out, but 3-1 up, there's no point. Nice opening pot, but lots of work to do. He's tried to hold for the ball to top right and then come off the top cushion and cannon the other yellow out. I think he's just held the position. Well, that yellow must go. Goes past the red. Has to get exact position onto the second to last one though to be able to get down the table to get behind that yellow. It's on the rail. And this is about steering the cue ball down to the right hand side of the table past these reds. Wants to go through the gap of the two reds if you can with check side. Played it well. Not anything extravagant to do with the cue ball here. Just wants to stop it. Just pull it back an inch. Make sure the pot and then you've got the black into the centre. Played it well. This is much needed from Callum Singleton, and it's a tidy little finish as well. Had some tough pots in that, and some uh, some finicky little positional shots. So good finish there, Singleton. Cracking break there. Two yellows. Reds are the colour for me. I think yep. red will go past the yellow into the top right. Whereas I think the yellow at the top of the table is blocked, so yeah. just by that fact alone, 
I think you should see Callum Singleton attempt to play Reds. Yeah, if he's straight enough here, he could pull straight back and play the one up the right cushion and then go for the one at the top of the table before working down again. Yeah, you play middle now and yep. get rid of this one that's on the right. You have to. Once you get back off that rail. Bit of an angle. Didn't want it. He's called a bit, a bit happy just straight. Yeah. Or nearly straight. Then again, there's... Could just drop it in and hold, I think. It could oh, yeah, just dribble. Yeah. And then red at the top next. And the rest are just dot to dots at the bottom. I think the red that's next to the yellow at the bottom of the table should be his last ball and the black into the centre. So if you go through those three there to just make sure you leave the cue ball on sort of the pink spot. Which that is hard just about so which is going to be completely irrelevant because he's missed a, missed a red. Any harder without that was not in. For me, I'll play this one into the top corner, obviously. One into the middle. Then the, the red that's sort of right in the black spot into the bottom right-hand corner to leave it straight red into the centre. You would leave that position then of straight into the bottom corner, black ball into the middle. You don't want to be there. No. Put a lot of side on, but... The cue ball just didn't go, did it? A lot of side doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, cue ball spinning on the spot. So now his route's going to change. Yeah, he just needs to take care of this shot. He needs to get back in position. That's okay. Yeah, That's yeah it's fine. Good. I mean, he goes into the middle now, and it's it's similar now, but you obviously your last red is still going to be the same one. It's just you're going to be playing it as a cut into the corner and coming off the bottom rail, so you're going to be further away from the eight ball than you would have been if you'd have got the cue ball further down the table off that last shot. He can roll down quite close to this uh, this last red as well. Yeah, just inside the yellow would be would be perfect. I think you can just stand out and take the eight into the middle. Or we can kick into the yellow, but yeah. has its own little things where you don't want to have a bad knock. So he's playing the right way. is to level the match and Callum Singleton pulling out all the stops keeps Chippy firmly placed in his chair dry break messy table if you're going to have a dry break you want to leave it like this he won't mind what he sees as he walks away from the table Oh, you're always looking to make a ball. It's not the worst result when it lands like this. You're going to find a little tactical battle ongoing for the next couple of minutes now. Players just dipping in behind these balls. Nearly didn't reach the cushion there. Only just, yeah. Our referee eagle-eyed. Coming in for a look. I think it's Brian Moss presiding over this one. I must admit, I've not even noticed the ref uh, so far. It's always a sign of a good ref when you don't notice him around the table. Well, that's definitely the stance of Brian. out of that one. Brian fairly leaning over the table to make sure he gets a good look at this one. Shot. 
Very good shot. He'd already worked out that that ball wasn't frozen, so I don't think Chippy's got much else here apart from I thought he was going to run into the uh, the red at the top of the table, but mm. that little nudge push that yellow on. Well, we're just approaching halfway through the match, coming to the 25-minute stage, so. Half of the match clock has evaporated. The answer to that question is yes. And it's a two for one deal. Buy one, get one free for Callum Singleton. Didn't want it. No, he didn't. He's still got the ball down to bottom left. But I think you have to play the... Oh, no. I was going to say... Uh, try and do something with the yellow on the right, but there's no double there, so he's he's forced into taking this one. He needs to leave an angle here, though. So take the one to bottom right and leave an angle on the one to middle to come over and try and dislodge. The trouble is you've got to dislodge the, the yellow on the right hand side and get the eight ball out as well and he's running out of balls to, to be able to do that I don't think the yellow closest to the middle of the table the one just to the left of the eight ball I don't think it passes to top right we'll go to top left but needs to do something here well he's got a slight angle I mean as we have a look at this. He'd love it if that yellow passed. He's looking now to see whether it passes to middle, but it doesn't because you, you could just run up into the eight ball here and be guaranteed to be on that yellow to middle, but I'm pretty sure it, it won't pass, which is why he's hit it with a bit more pace, and sure. that is a very good result. The problem is he's going to have another problem after, the, after this shot. He's got the yellow to middle, but the yellow that's closest to the cushion does not double. I think it doubles in the top left-hand corner. Doubles the top left, yeah. Won't double the middle. The other shot, I don't know if he, he's got any angles to take that yellow long into the bottom right and try and move the other one, but... Well, he went for the double down into the bottom left. Late for the table double, which was... Uh, well... Brave one. Yeah, I, th I, th I thought he was just going to play into the middle bag and then play the double into the corner because yeah. it, it was available. Yeah. And Chippy here should say thank you very much. And surely an easier... Or gifts gratefully received. Surely an easier double. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's getting towards the... Obviously, the, the beeper just started in a... I think he's just in a rush. Wow. Chippy. Play that very gently. I, that's an incredible miss there from Chipperfield. What have seen there? I don't know. I think it might have turned a tad, but... Cross, cross the nap. Even there's hardly any nap now on these tables. Fingerprint short mark, I don't know. Yeah. But you wouldn't expect him to certainly miss it. Lovely shot there from Callum. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, it's like Christmas. They're trading gifts at the moment. Yeah, you know, you, I mean, Sean's a massive potter as well, like, you know, to miss that ball. Incredible. I'm just stealing a few more inches to get the cube a bit nearer. Don't blame him. Had the angle. And this for a 4-3 lead. And three in a row this will be for Callum Singleton. And in it goes. Try. Disgruntled Singleton goes back to his chair. That's the time you you just want to. You do when you've just had a frame where that you you probably should have lost. Yeah. 
you've you've nicked it. You think right, get a ball off the brake, yeah. clear up, yeah. rub some salt into Sean's wounds, put your, especially you know, keep him sat down, get himself to the end, two two in front. We're into the last third of the match. Not a straightforward finish there. All the balls have a pocket, but the cue ball needs to be on a string here. It's just about weaving your way. For me, the the only ball that's of any significance really that to worry is well not worry, but is the yellow next to the black. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the one I was I was referring to, the the fact that the angle is guarded by the two reds above, so you just really need to give attention to how you land on that. You either come very wide of it, but then you're running into the eight. It does cause a bit of an issue. You could get on it now. We could just roll this in the middle and play the one at the top and come down. Can it into the red. Yeah, it's perfect. Or just come below. Perfect. Yeah. Well worked out. I mean, it, it wasn't the trickiest of clearances, but it needed a little bit of intricacy, a little bit of craftsmanship. It makes them look so s simple. Just, you know, a minute later and the table's cleared and you think, what happened there? Don't know a black. Very good, very good cue ball all the way through that. It was on a sixpence. What a style of breaking that is. I mean, it's stand and deliver. He literally feathers once, pulls the cue back once, and fires. Compared to other players, you know, notably someone like Mark Fleming or, or Dylan Leary, who's a, a big feather of the ball. He literally just gets down there and smashes them. Not going to like too much what he sees here. It's a bit messy. Well, it's not that bad to be fair, Nick. Yellows are okay because the, the three in the middle there is a plant. So you can play that plant yellow into red into yellow, knock it in the middle. It'll also free up that pocket for the black as well on top. He wanted to be on this ball that was near the rail, yeah, first of all, though. So he's played a loose shot there. A little bit clumsy. Just need to make sure he got across onto that one and then use the one to middle to, to get down table. He's going to have to come back for that ball now. Well, yes. yeah, he's got to come down and play the, play the yellow at the bottom and play this plant. He needs to get about done now, early. Oh, he's played the other way. <laughs> yeah, but the, the fact is, I'd rather play the other way because the red was going away yeah. as well and would have freed up the other middle. Yeah. Bit straight on this as well. So he's going to have to play a lot of power into this. That's a great shot. He just sees things so quickly. Needs to bounce. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, let's just roll this in now and uh, track the cue ball just above the black and it'll come back down into this bottom left-hand corner. You feel? Or Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, what on earth? Why would you play to kick into that red to get on the black into that middle? You could have just rolled that in. Cuba would have gone up to the top of the, you know, in between black and the bolt line. But oh well. Who who cares when you do that? Oh well. <laughs> You've got to be absolutely kidding me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what have we just seen there? That. Is an absolute monster of a fluke. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you've just done me. Oh my word! I think the look. He on must be hiding. He must be hiding. He's laughing behind his hand there. Surely <laughs> the look on Callum Singleton's face just absolutely summed it up. <laughs> I think I'd have thrown my cue at him if that had happened to me. No, because he's played. 
I'm telling you now, I cannot believe he's tried to play position for where he is when he could just roll that in. Yeah. When don't, you said don't, try, yeah. don't try and find any reason for it, <laughs> Nick. Please. He's snooking himself. He's obviously aimed to hit the ball, but I think it's part frustration in the swing yeah. at it because he's hit it at some pace. Yeah. And, well. What a shot. Crazy. I'll tell you what. If if Sean was to go on and win this title, you look back at that moment there and think, well, your name's on the trophy with that. Because, you know, at four all as well, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What a kick in the guts for Callum Singleton that was. And uh, just to have a little bit of salt in. Chippy at the table again. Was this not Sean's break? Surely it was. Because Callum went dry on the one before, didn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's all right. The, the graphic shows it was Callum's break. It was confusing me. I was thinking, no, surely Sean broke this. I was just looking at another score when when the break happened. So yeah, I'm Chippy sure broke off in the opening frame. Yeah, the, the graphic's wrong. I think. Did he? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost me now in, in all of this. You know I'm easily confused, Nick. <laughs> Senior moments now for me. Just on the one to middle, above the yellow. Doesn't doesn't need to take it yet. He's got a choice. He's actually got a choice of all three. Needs that to be straight enough to. Mm, I think he's got a slight angle of coming away from that bag. Yeah, he, w he wanted to be straight so he could screw straight back or even even just the other way so he could screw, screw past the yellow so he's going to have to reroute and take this red to middle now this was this was the ball to get onto the 8 ball because it makes it so simple and he's, he's going to stick with it he's not got the right angle but it's not good. that's not going to go far enough surely is it there's some stuck out but how much of it I don't know but he's so thin how does he hold for the 8 you don't do I you? think making the pot will be his first problem, if he doesn't hold for the eight, you can, he would have a double at the worst. When he's even played for the double, he knows he couldn't get, there's no point in playing it gently because he was still going to come too far to be able to cut it, so he just played it full-blooded, which is the right thing to do because it, well, the last the last double that he played, Tony, he, he missed by about four inches, and this one's tougher. And he nails it. Absolutely <laughs> nails it. Well, some sparkling finishes coming from Sean Chipperfield. Did well there to keep the yeah. um, keep the cue ball out of the way because the cue ball is yeah. one of those shots the cue ball can catch up. Any any more pace on that cue ball, and it comes around and flicks the eight ball, and it doesn't go in. So. Probably not a dry break. I mean, Callum Singleton is going to like what he sees here. Chippy would just want to get the job done. He doesn't want to prolong this anymore. But you've got to say, I mean, Callum deserves to have a chance after what's gone. It would have been unfair for him to not get back to the table and just have a go at it. So a chance to pull back to 6-5. Taking his time. Oh, no. No, no, sir. I'm, you can understand why he wanted to go yellows there, because there's no there's no red to get onto the eight. The... the the red he would have had to potted to start with, the one in the middle would have been the natural ball to get on the eight. So then after he takes that, there's nothing else on the table that really links up with the eight ball. 
so you can understand why he wants to go yellows because there was a much easier opener on reds and reds aren't actually laid out that badly it was just how do you get on the eight well this should be all over now Sean Chipperfield the finishing line is within sight a place in the semi-finals and a date with Tom Cousins here at stake courtesy of these yellows and the black Coming up after this, we will have our third quarter final. That is Greg Batten versus Sean Storey. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Greg, another one from down our neck of the woods, down in the West Country, coming from Tiverton. Indeed, Tiverton in Devon. Yeah, nice to, nice to see Greg having a deep run. An old Pac-Man. And then the last quarter final to finish us off will be... Scott Gillespie, who's in fine form, playing the Nick Finn's tip. The cyborg. The cyborg, Aaron Davis, yeah. I mean, I say he's a tip, but I mean... He's and then we'll be back to women's semi-finals. He's got a tough game there against Scott. Scott's playing so Everybody's well. Everybody's got a tough game against Scott. Yeah, yeah. Well, this shot now just wants to slide off this rail up the table. quite softly yeah. wanted to make sure he didn't snook himself he wants to come a bit further that's okay I thought for a minute he was going to stop in the mud anyway this for the match in it goes and Sean Chipperfield makes his way to the semi-final he beats Callum Singleton seven frames of four don't go away because when we come back we're going to be hearing from Sean Chipperfield